My name's Chuck Jefferson. I'm the head instructor here at Chuck Jefferson's Judo, a new studio that just opened up here in uh, 2012 here in San Jose, California. We just started our program here uh, in our new location here in San Jose. Uh, we start kids at four years old, so we have a, uh, our first course is for four to six year olds, which is a real basic, you know, kind of a pre-judo class where uh, it's real basic fundamentals and movements. Um, we work a lot on basic coordination, agility, and balance exercises with the idea is to kind of have the kids progress into the junior judo program when they're, you know, six or seven years old. So, you know, I think judo is just an amazing sport, uh, martial art for kids to, to learn. Um, unlike a lot of other sports, we learn a lot about cooperation, and that's something that you don't get in a lot of other sports. Um, kids have to learn to cooperate with one another because it's hands-on with judo. The kids have to actually interact with each other. It's physical. They have to work with one another. They have to cooperate and learn techniques together. So that cooperation and the skills that they learn with that is something that takes their experience way beyond the mat. Uh, it makes them humble. It makes them be aware of other people and their surroundings. So it's the kind of skill that you don't get when you play a lot of individual sports. Although judo is an individual sport, it takes a team and it takes a partner and a good uh, you know, facility to interact with each other and, and train. But once they're in the 7 to 12-year-old uh, division, uh, the, the class, it gets to be a little bit more uh, strict. You know, we begin to work on a little bit more judo skills to where they're going to prepare for competition. So it, it starts to turn in from fun and games and balance and coordination to exercise and actual training. Um, we also have an adults program here. Um, we have an adults program that basically trains three days a week and we focus a lot on Tachiwaza with Judo where we're about 80% standing and 20% on the ground for Neiwaza as far as the tournament goes. Um, as far as practice, um, I've always been a big fan of Neiwaza so we spend about 50% of the time on the ground doing arm locks, chokes and pins and the other 50% standing up practicing the throws. We do have um, at least two black belts on the practice uh, floor at every practice, so we do have a, you know high level training. Um, right now we do have a lot of beginners, so it's a great time for anybody out there to come out and learn judo. And, and judo is for everyone. It can be taught for everyone. Um, it is a very safe sport when taught correctly, and we have a great time out here, and I think judo is a great thing for anyone. So judo is one of only two martial arts that's actually an Olympic sport. Um, judo was entered into the Olympics in 1964 in Tokyo. So. Fortunately for me, I was actually a fan at the 1984 Olympics when I was a little boy. My instructor took me to the Olympic Games to watch in Los Angeles and from that day it was always my dream to uh, you know, be a judo champion and hopefully go to the Olympics one day. You know, my, my judo career ended in 2008 where I was actually the alternate for the uh, 2008 Olympic team. But we have this program here that now it's my goal to, to create champions and, and hopefully give the opportunity for some kid in San Jose to, to fulfill his Olympic dreams.